Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich. Second to last garden tour of the year. Thought we'd do one here. We're, we're absolutely winding down and wanted to show you what's still going on and uh, what's to come. We'll do one more when we uh, one more review when we do the uh, squash when they come out. Um, let me show you. This side's just the disaster post storm. Um, some pumpkins that are have grown out of the compost pile. Um, the one nice surprise is we've got some Georgia rattlesnake that survived the hail. You can see some of it is quite pitted. Um, but that's going to be a survivor. So we've gotten a little, a bit of, uh, watermelon. We've got our beer radishes that I need to uh, investigate and see if they're ready to be, if they're ready to be beard. Um, I should pull one and see what, there's a little, I guess, beer radish. I got to see what the size of them is. Um, and then kind of go from there. The rest of the garden, this is, you know, post uh, storm and post uh, peppergate. So all these that were going to be jalapenos uh, are not, but uh, they're doing that. The eggplant just was battered again. The one good thing is I will get some, some spice this year. The... Uh, um, habaneros are coming good there. So that's it. Our uh, second planting of carrots is growing nicely in there and a potato. And then in the, the second planting of potatoes, we put those little potatoes in there. Hopefully over the next month or so, we're going to get some spuds. Um, we... You know, we haven't had rain in about a month since the uh, since the big storm came through. Well, we got some high winds and over two inches of of rain, and that of course knocked down a bunch of peppers. So we got to get out here and do them. You know, the the yellow peppers and the you know everything's in here. It's looking pretty good. Um, some big. Let's see if I can grab one of these. Big yellow, you know, as big as my hand. Um, there's no lack of peppers in here. None at all. Um, so, you know, not that we had, you know, a million peppers last year, which we did. Um, but let me take you over to the, the area here that, uh, sorry, I'm trying to, trying to hold a pepper, trying to walk and uh, film at the same time. Um, the one area that's going to be our wild card this year due to the hail damage had to check there. We've got, uh, you know, after two inches yesterday, we've gotten almost a half an inch today. So, uh, finally, the end of the season, and uh, we finally get our rain. Um, the zucchini and yellow squash is kind of at its end. It has run its course. There's a few zucchini down there that are um, going to be for, you know, making some uh, breads and such the a uh, lot of the stuff is is at the end so we'll get ready just uh, some of the acorn squash in there nothing of huge size our pumpkins now the pumpkins are everywhere I don't have anything that's monstrous but uh, a lot of pumpkins uh, popping up that will be uh, good you know make a lot of kids happy um, some squash that's coming through. I had one. Here's one that got uh, some damage from the storm, and then the bugs got a hold of it, and it's just gross. So, uh, but a bunch of pumpkins. Then uh, down here, some uh, waltham, some butternut, and the way it's died back. You know, this stuff is probably ready to pick for fall, and we can get it to. Some of our CSA members, um, nothing huge, just average size squash. And I can see some of the, looks like this wasn't mature enough and the bugs are 
taken over. This is, um, oh, I forget what squash that is. Well, might have one good one on there. Anyways, uh, oh, our little Jack B. Littles, all the little mini pumpkins. Looks like we've got, wow, 50 of them or so. Quite a, quite a grouping. Maybe I'll have to come out and do a little harvest, uh, harvest time, because I think, I think I'm going to need to take down, I'd put up a fence here. Let me see if I can show that. I'd put up a little fence just to keep the chickens from doing the end around, um, but also to, you know, I didn't want them going out into the soybeans and then coming back around. Um, this is where I need a bunch of little kids who want to carry pumpkins around and uh, help me harvest uh, squash and pumpkins. Little kids are always good for that. Um, let me see if I can get a sweeping shot here. So we got a break in the rain, so I thought I'd come out. This is going to be a short, uh, short video. But the second to last, um, second to last garden tour of the year. I'll do one when I do the squash. But I don't know. This gardening season can't end quick enough. <laughs> it's just been a tough one. I was looking back at uh, all the notes and uh, stuff that happened. Remember, we had a deer that jumped in, jumped over the fence. We never get deer. Had a deer that jumped in and ate a bunch of the tomatoes and some other stuff. We had no rain at all, then we had a late frost, then we had uh, no rain, then the huge storm. Just been one of those years, I guess. Hopefully you get, the, get that out of our system and uh, never to be done again. So anyways, got one more coming. One more video uh, looking, there we go, looking at the uh, squash uh, harvest. And all the chickens are running around. So, all right, thanks for watching and uh, everybody have a great day.